Hey there everybody, welcome to another episode of From the City to the Mountains. So I'm out of breath, but I figured I would go ahead and do this video before I got too out of breath and looked worse than I do right now. Like my hair's already sweating out and I usually wear it in a ponytail, but um, when I get really bad headaches and I still have to work, I don't put my hair in a ponytail and I just throw the hat on. So needless to say, it's not cute by the end of the day, but it's all good. So I wanted to um, go over what's been happening in the last couple days. The last time I left you guys, I was really hoping to have all the piers done and have them all buried. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is everything's almost buried. <laughs> the bad news is, is it's not done yet. Um, one of the things that my dear, sweet, loving husband, my better half, my rock, my realistic, bring me back down to earth person, um, has said to me the other day was, you have to stop thinking like we have a group of four people helping us. It is just the two of us. We can only do but so much, but things are getting done. And when he said that, I had to really like stop and slow my roll because I was having a meltdown. You guys know I was um, stressing out. I'm like, we're not going to be done by September. And I was freaking out and I almost was on the verge of tears. And when he said that, I was like, oh, I hate it when you're right. I hate it so much when you're right. But I do tell him when he's right because it's important. Um, I think that's probably one of the reasons that him and I are still married 17 years later is because I do admit when I'm wrong, which is not an easy thing for me. Anyway. Enough of that. Let us let me show you what the piers look like. See behind me, by the way, you see a wheelbarrow and a, a shovel. I'll tell you what that's all about in just a minute. Let me turn the camera to the piers. All right, so we actually have gotten quite a bit done so far, right guys? So there's 21 piers that have to be done. We have actually buried one, two, three, four, five six seven piers so far so we're, we're halfway there um which is exciting in itself um so we're getting there and let me um kind of go over this we have a string line here because we wanted to make sure that we had a, a constant for our level because we can't put or bury the other tubes in just yet because we want to see what our level is and our elevation is so um, we can actually make sure everything is level. So we started with a constant on the back and then we're gonna start again on the other side, which is over here. We're gonna take this post here and there is a post over here, let me make my way over there so I can show you guys instead of trying to give you all these long shots. Um, so there's this post right here. We're going to have to tie it to, we might actually just use this one because we need a straight line and this one's kind of behind the pier. But um, once we get our level line this way, we know we have a constant. Basically what that means is we have a tried and true level and then we can work on the other two sides of the house. So we've gotten quite a bit buried. Um, actually, and when we say gotten quite a bit buried, what I mean is like the ridiculous amount of holes <laughs> that the excavator left. Um, I'm actually walking across holes right now that we've covered, so that's really cool. We've gotten a lot done. And um, the only one that's left is this guy. So. Rick brought some dirt over and I got it in here. And as you can see, it's not quite done yet. Um, he is working on um, getting ready to bury the septic tank. So that's what he's working on with the big machine. And he did bring me a lot of dirt with the skid steer, but it wasn't enough. So I have some dirt over here and that's where the wheelbarrow and the shovel comes in. Yes, the hard work is coming in again. I'm putting it in here and I'm bringing it down to here and then I will level it out to ground level. So that's what I've been doing. Some, we had some uh-ohs that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, so as we're burying the holes, we, we had some plywood, thin plywood in there to try to keep the shape of where we're gonna put the sonotubes. And 
not all of them worked out in our favor. So basically what we're gonna have to do with this one is we're going to have to pull up the rocks and let me get down here a little bit so you guys can see. But down in there, there's a rock that has an orange marker on it. That's where our pier is gonna be. So we're gonna have to remove the rocks, let the dirt fall, and then just kind of dig um, in the spot that we need the pier to go and then put it back in. So in this case, as frustrating as it is, it is we dug, buried, and now we have to redig. But there's only a couple like that, not a whole lot. Um, this one managed to stay good. This one is horrible, you guys. Absolutely horrible. This did not, I mean, <laughs> this did not work at all. And so I was really frustrated about this yesterday. Today is just a laughable and teachable moment that we probably should have did a better job of preparing the piers. So with this one, we're just going to take the, um, again, we're going to take out the uh, wood and let the dirt fall where it may and then we know exactly where our pier is going still thank goodness we'll measure it out from one pier to another to double check it and then we'll put the sano tube in after we dig out a spot so that's where that's another case of buried and reburied um let me show you a good example of what we were trying to do which is here kept this space open got a sano tube in it and it worked so some of it worked some of it didn't but it's all part of being a rookie um, to building and figuring stuff out because see, unlike a lot of the other videos that I've seen, um, everyone seems to like have done it perfectly and there's never any mistakes, never any hiccups that they show you. We've had mistakes, we've had hiccups, we've actually had some costly mistakes. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'll do a video of the top 10 things that I've learned so far and uh, I'll discuss those costly mistakes as well as the regular mistakes in hopes that anyone else who's wanting to build off grid and there's only two of y'all doing it um, try, in hopes that these videos actually help you guys in such a way that you will not make the same mistakes because we've had quite a few doozies and I think it's important to I mean it's a learning process for sure so I think it's important to um, share that so I think that's gonna be my next video and I'll probably do that um, in the actual city because we still have we're still renting a place um, in the city while we're building up here and our lease ends uh, the end of September so we really need to get rocking and rolling on this which I'm actually really proud of ourselves I didn't think about it I was just stressed that things were not working on my timeline as typical as that is for me and realistically it's working out just like it's supposed to we're getting things done it may not be in the time frame in my head but again there's only two of us not four so I'm really actually very excited with um, what's coming along so today's project I'm gonna finish off that hole there and bury in that so that we have no more unnecessary holes in the piers um, oh there is one I got to show you guys forgot I'm gonna flip the camera back over okay so around here where that footprint is down there which might be hard to see because I'm in the shadow there but that footprint that is one more pier that we have to put back in let me tell you a story about that pier real quick that's important for you guys to know um, in case you haven't noticed we live on a rock or we're going to be living on a rock we bought a mountain it is straight mountain um, and there are spots where you can dig holes and then there are spots where it is just bedrock this pier where this is going where that footprint is um, and of course we'll measure again to make sure but it is a pier that has to go here and it is bedrock underneath we're not getting that out so what Rick is gonna do because we kind of actually added more dirt on top is we're gonna dig until we can't dig anymore and then he's going to drill down three holes um, in the bedrock and put the rebar in and then when the rebar is in uh, we'll have the sono tubes in we'll have the gravel in where we can make sure the piers are level and we'll be good to go so that pier is sitting there right now not done because we still have a little bit more work on it but I'm very very hopeful that we will have it done in the very near future I'm not gonna stick a time frame on it because every time I stick a time frame on something I become disappointed um, so yeah we are doing well this one we have a little bit more dirt to fill in um, 
so that we can get more dirt on top of it. So we got that one to do. This one is almost ground level, so just a little bit more and that'll do. Same thing for this area. Almost ground level, not quite. And then, of course, this is our last pier that we'll have to bury. The reason why I haven't buried it, buried it yet is because we actually need to level it this direction. Right now, it was like over here, the sono tube, but the pier is actually going to be over here. So we still need to work on getting that set up as well. So there's still some pier work to get done. Um, but again, proud of us. We've gotten a lot done in a really short amount of time. I keep telling myself, it's been four months. We should be further ahead. But the truth of the matter is, it's, it's only been four months. <laughs> you know, most people take a year to build. And we're like, we're hustling. And we're hauling booty. And we're going to get this done before the fall because we've got to. Um, but it's i don't know guys this is like really really exciting and i was stressed out yesterday and frustrated and had a meltdown my husband said that one thing to me and i was like dang it he's right okay we're getting a lot accomplished so today's goal is to fill in that fabulous septic tank over there and right now what my hubby is doing is clearing out space for him to actually maneuver uh back and forth because he's got to grab fresh dirt which is over in the corner that we got and he's got to put it in the septic tank area to bury it but he can't do that if he doesn't have a clear path so that's what he's working on now and i am going to go back to working on um filling up this guy to where it needs to be and then probably i don't know maybe like early next week we'll work on the problem child peers um and get those sono tubes in oh and guys um, because I talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly all the time, I figured I would tell you about something that wasn't ugly but bad that happened to us. So, we have a very, very private road off of a road that only we use. And sometimes we get stragglers that come up this road. And we saw three different types of tracks in the last few weeks. And we're like, okay, we gotta get the gate up. But we haven't been able to get the gate up yet just because we are trying to get the big stuff done before the cabin gets here. The cabin should be here hopefully another couple of weeks. So we're really working on that. Um, and in the meantime, we've had some tracks up here that don't belong up here. Trailer, uh, an ATV, and what looks like someone else's truck. And um, we discovered yesterday while we were doing our piers we are six piers short. So someone has stolen our sono tubes. Not that we're six piers short, we're six sono tubes short. Um, and someone has stolen our materials basically from our work site and I guess they're using it on theirs. Um, and as frustrating as that is, I will say the positive side is, thank goodness they only took the sono tubes. The sono tubes are a little more cost effective, so we can go and buy those again and replace them and be okay. I'm so grateful it wasn't the big stuff, like, you know, our drills and our saws and all that stuff. So I'm grateful for that. But yeah, someone's been up here and stole. So we're going to have to get our fence up really, really fast, really, really soon. Um, so that doesn't happen again. So that was kind of bad. But again, today's going to be a good day because it's a new day. And like my husband said, it's the two of us and we're getting a lot done and we need to take a look back and stop and think about what we've done so far. So I'm really excited. I will catch up with you guys later. I really think that my next video, I'll probably be in the city um, at the apartment and I'll be talking about mm, basically what we've learned so far and the um, uh-ohs and oh-nos and oh, that's gonna blow the budget kind of mistakes we've made as rookies. Yeah, share that next. So anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm going to get back to hauling this dirt over there so I can get it done. Have a great day.